I've got Frank here. He's with the Missouri team. You guys really brought a big team. I mean, I'm not lying. Yeah, we brought, I think it was around 22 people with uh, advisors. We got a 30-foot trailer here. Uh, brought basically everything that wasn't bolted down. Yeah, we, we brought a lot. Nice. Very nice. Well, more people uh, makes a lighter load, huh? And that is a big rover you've got there. Uh, how much did that thing weigh in at anyway? Um, with just the arm on and uh, just the uh, battery box and electronics box, we weighed in around, I think, 46 kilograms. Uh, and 50 is the limit, right? Correct. That is All correct. Right. Okay, well, we're getting ahead of ourselves because I'm curious. We've got this magnificent machine standing here, but it didn't just appear one day. So you guys had to build a program around building robots. So tell me about this program. How did this come to be? Okay, so we're kind of structured like a small business. Um, we have four branches. Uh, we have um, four branches of the team. We have uh, the executive branch, technical branch, administrative, and uh, financial. And uh, it, you know, each branch works together to really build this. Uh, the technical obviously puts all this together. The executive does a lot of outreach, uh, or outreach and uh, PR. Financial does fundraising and spending. And uh, the administrative manages the in internal part of the team. So, um, we so does that mean that you don't just have engineers on your team? You've got people yeah. from all, all walks of life here. That's correct. We have around 14 different majors on our team, ranging from, um, I think it's business and IST to uh, aerospace engineering, physics. It's all over the place. Wow. Yeah, it's very interdisciplinary. Very cool. Okay, so that with that big of a team, how do you keep it organized and managed? Does the administrative branch yeah. does it? The executive? What happens when there's a when there's a crack clash of ideas? Yeah. Somebody's got to make a decision, right? Yeah. So everything kind of comes down to the CEO, the chief administrative or C chief executive officer, sorry. And it all comes down to her, Sarah Ward, she's around here somewhere. And um, she's kind of got the final say in every, anything that happens. So if there's a clash between technical and financial, she's going to be the one to make that call. Awesome. So. Okay, so is this program something that's officially part of the university? Is this a club? What's the, how did it, you know, come about? That's a good question. Um, we're pretty lucky. Our school has uh, what's called the design center. So we have a bunch of different teams. There's 14 different design teams and we're one of those. Or sorry, you yeah, know, 14 different design teams. We're one of those. And um, it's just a program our school uh, has where you get student groups, they band together. They, you know, you have to put in a lot of work to create one of these teams. But once you do, you get access to a machine shop with uh, things like CNC lathes, uh, CNC mills, um, drill presses. You also get uh, shop space, just, you know, also uh, places for, uh, composites manufacturing it's wow it's pretty diverse. that's a lot of resources so you guys have a complete array of tools that you can go after uh, as long as you know how to use them of course and of course and no one comes in knowing how to use them when you start a team you're pretty fresh um, but the great part is it's all about experiential learning so when you're sitting there uh, building one of these things you're learning how to do that we didn't learn how to do any of this overnight you know it was I think uh, one of our guys just said it took 16 different uh, iterations to get these wheels right yeah. and that's you know carbon fiber wheels it takes a lot of work well let's talk about those wheels so give us a little tour of this machine because it is very unique and the wheels definitely I, i've not seen any other like this so this is a custom design on these wheels it is um just about everything's custom designed we go custom design frame all the way to the motherboard um power board things of that nature so uh if you guys can see down here we have these uh, carbon fiber wheels that we manufactured in-house. Um, we have an aluminum uh, connector that we also like laid in-house that holds the motor in. There's uh, spokes uh, that really are meant to paddle through the dirt. Um, so now going through here, this little bay right here is where the robotic arm is supposed to go. And uh, you'll probably get some footage of that later. Then directly underneath here, so we have a uh, carbon fiber uh, lid. And if we took that off, you can see the science bay would go right here. And inside of that, we uh, have a custom in-house designed and built uh, Raman fluorescent spectrometer. Next to that, this would be the uh, connection panel. So everything in there is where uh, we have uh, uh, connectors to the power board, motherboard, logic, all things of that sort. In here, we have uh, all, all the, uh, the, the brains, basically. It's motherboard, power board, like I keep saying. Everything that controls the rover is in that box. I notice you've also got a lot of input devices here. Yeah. We've got uh, array of cameras and, and all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, so we have a couple uh, FPV cams, which are first-person view. Um, we have uh, 
a Let's step around this yep, side here. Of course. We have a, uh, a uh, IP camera right here that can rotate 360 degrees, you know, show us whatever we need, rotates up and down also. Um, we have a GPS, uh, I forgot exactly how high this antenna is, um, another camera, it's, it's kind of all over the place. Nice. So how are you guys doing in the competition so far? How are you feeling? We're feeling pretty good. Um, things have gone pretty well. Yesterday we've only done uh, astronaut assist and so far this. Um, astronaut assist, we, I feel like we did pretty well. We're really happy with how we performed and, you know, came out of there feeling really positive. Awesome. Same thing with today, you know, didn't go the way we wanted, but we still feel really great about it. You know, ready to uh, move on, take it to the next step. Cool. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.